Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Howsy Ale. It's Saturday night which means it's craft beer night and the beer we're going for tonight is from North Brewing Co. It is this one. It is their Full Fathom 5. Now this one has been aged, shall we say. I've kept it for winter time. Uh, and we, we are pretty much in the beginning of winter. It's November the 5th. It's bonfire night. So the dark beers are coming out. Uh, this one is a coffee coconut porter weighing in at 6.5% ABV. It's very little I can tell you about it other than that because it doesn't say much on the can. Uh, it's 440 mil. I think I got this one from Morrison's uh, way back when. And I say way back when. Uh, the BB, BBE on this one is uh, March 22. So it may be past its best. I don't know. Um... So yeah, taking a bit of a gamble. It may have paid off, it may not. Some porters and stouts age well, others not so much. I'm hoping this one does. So, without further ado, let's get it out and into a glass and see what we think, shall we? So, we're pouring into my Titanic goblet glass. The pour is dark, which is what I want. So I'm going to go mental, get a little bit of a head. That will do. So it's a, uh, it's a nice dark port. As porters go, that's really dark. That's verging on stout territory. And you've got a nice tan head that is, uh, yeah, it's doing the trick. It looks great. I'll try and get it up to the, there is just a hint of like a chestnut brown coming through on the uh, fringes of that. So uh, yeah, coffee and coconut. Do I get it on the nose? Let's find out. I'm getting coffee, I'm getting chocolate. And if you inhale deep and long, and just when you're about to run out of the ability to inhale any more, you get the coconut come through. It's light, it's tropical, it's smooth and creamy, uh, but it is subtle. Yeah, there it is, it's quite nice. So uh, yeah, it looks good, it smells really nice. Have a taste. Cheers. That has an excellent body to it. It does. As porters go, it's really quite heavy. It's verging on stout territory. It is coffee-like the coconut is coming through i'm assuming they've used sabro maybe some adjunct um, of actual coconut um but it does come through really quite nice there is a almost berry like note coming out from underneath all of this and the coffee is smooth mellow and uh just working quite nicely in harmony with the coconut because it'd be so easy to go one way or the other you know overload it with coconut or go bitter with the coffee and lose the coconut completely this is balanced, well-rounded, and uh, nice and dark. Yeah, smooth coconut, hints of milk chocolate, and it is a milky chocolate as opposed to a dark, bitter, roasted sort of thing. It's very pleasant. It's very pleasant indeed. And the mouthfeel is lovely, and... As it goes down your throat, the flavours kind of just linger in the mouth quite nicely and the finish is really quite well balanced. I'm getting more of the coconut on the back end than I do on the initial sip uh, where most of the coffee and chocolate resides. I like it. I like it. It has aged well. So, without further ado, let's go to the scoreboard of joy which says that uh, Full Fathom 5, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it, really? Has had 18,400 check-ins, 15 from people I know. 3.63 average, slightly higher at 3.75 from those who I know have tried it. Yeah. It's not a bad score. Could be better. I think mine will be. Uh, my scoreboard of joy for the fur 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 is uh, currently empty. Let's give it some, shall we? And uh, starting with the looks before the scoreboard slides off my lap it off a bit it is 
as porters go, a cracking looking porter. It's dark, you've got hints of the chestnut at the bottom, you've got a nice tan head that is smooth and creamy. You know, it looks good. I like the looks, it's having a full point. The aroma is balanced. You've got the coffee and the milk chocolate. The coconut comes through right at the back end. It's almost an afterthought, but it's sweet. You get a hint of roasted malts. Nothing heavy, um, but it's really quite well balanced. I like it. It's getting a 0.75. I just want a little more of the coconut on the nose. And I know that's not going to be the easiest thing to do. And maybe as the beer warms up a little bit more, it's been out of the fridge for quite some time, but not. it's still cool. If it warms, I suspect the coconut will come through a little bit more. And who knows, if it's fresher, you know, it may have come through even more again. Anyway, the body is excellent. Cannot find a single flaw in that. It's medium heavy. It's smooth. It's silky. The carbonation is on point, as uh, the kids would say. I'm giving it a full point for that. It's excellent. The flavour, the most important thing. Smooth, balanced, coffee, chocolate, coconut, little hints of that kind of berry note coming through underneath and just sort of bringing a little tart, it's not tart, but you know what I mean, that, that kind of vibe to it. Really, really quite surprised by how good that is. It's not. It's dark enough without being too dark. And like I say, the flavors work in harmony really, really well. Can't fault it, giving it a point. And the finish, the finish is sweet. It's got a little hint of everything going on and it's where I get the most coconut. You know, on strength of the aroma, you'd think the coconut's gonna be missing. It's really not. It's right there on the back end and just gives you that lovely tropical warming feeling that you really want from a dark beer. It's getting a point. So yeah, it's got 4.75 out of five from me. So bonus points, it can't have the full bonus as we know. However, would I buy it again? Can you buy it still? I don't know, but I would. Um, strength of the flavour alone. Really tasty beer. Value for money. I can't remember what I paid for it, but it's a supermarket beer. It's not going to have been expensive. I think 354 quid, something like that in Morrison's. It's great value for money. So uh, yeah, there we go. So Full Fathom 5 from North Brewing has got 4.75 out of 5 with two extra bonuses for buy again and value for money. There we go. It's a beer that was a gamble. It could have gone bad over the uh, the last year. I think I've had it, maybe longer. Um, but it's been worth the wait. It's aged nicely. The flavours are mellow. It's delicious. And I hope it's still out there and I hope to get another one. So uh, ladies and gents, boys and girls, be upstanding. That has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I will see you tomorrow for another one. Bye.